Salesforce developers, brace yourselves as it's release time once again, and just in time for the first bits of sunshine to come through, at least here in the UK. The Summer 25 release is packed with game-changing updates that will supercharge your development workflow. From local component development to enhanced TypeScript support, let's dive into the top features you need to know about. Local development for single Lightning web components. Starting in summer 25, Salesforce introduces the ability to run local development for individual Lightning web components. By installing the local development plugin, you can use the SF Lightning Dev Component command to preview a single component in a dedicated browser page. This streamlines the development process, allowing for faster iterations and testing. TypeScript support for Lightning-based components. Salesforce now provides TypeScript definitions for Lightning-based components. This enhancement allows developers to leverage TypeScript's static, typing, and IntelliSense features, leading to improved code quality and developer experience. Enhanced Apex Debugging with Apex Replay Debugger. The Apex Replay Debugger has been improved to offer a more robust debugging experience. Developers can now step through code execution more effectively, inspect variables, and analyze cool stacks, making it easier to identify and fix issues in Apex code. Improve Lightning Web Components testing with Jest Framework. At number four, Salesforce has updated the Jest testing framework for Lightning Web Components, providing better support for testing components. This includes improved mocking capabilities and more comprehensive testing utilities, enabling developers to write more effective unit tests. Apex code coverage enhancements. In Summer 25, Salesforce enhances Apex code coverage reporting. Developers can now access more detailed coverage metrics, helping to identify untested code paths and improve overall test coverage. Expanded metadata coverage in source tracking. Source tracking now supports additional metadata types, allowing for more comprehensive tracking of changes between your local project and your Salesforce org. This facilitates better version control and deployment processes. Speaking of metadata, where do you turn when you need a DevOps platform to help you out with yours? Well, that's where this video's sponsor, Prodly, comes in. Prodly is a Salesforce DevOps platform that enables fast, accurate deployment of data and metadata changes across Salesforce applications, including CPQ, billing apps, and the new Revenue Cloud Advanced. In fact, it's the first and only DevOps tool for Revenue Cloud Advanced, helping organizations navigate Salesforce's shift away from CPQ by offering migration support, implementation, and ongoing change management. Interested? Well, good news. To support companies planning their transition, Prodly is offering a free CPQ to Revenue Cloud advanced migration assessment to get you started. Check it out at salesforceben.com forward slash Prodly, which will be linked at the top of the description. Back to the video. Improved experience with Salesforce CLI. At number seven, the Salesforce CLI receives several usability improvements in this release. These include enhanced command line prompts, better error messages, and a more intuitive command structures, making it easier for developers to interact with Salesforce from the terminal. Enhanced Lightning App Builder for developers. And finally, at number eight, developers can now leverage new features in the Lightning App Builder, such as dynamic component visibility and improved layout controls. These enhancements provide greater flexibility and control when designing app pages. The Summer 25 release brings a host of powerful tools and enhancements for Salesforce developers. By embracing these updates, you can streamline your development process, write better code, and deliver more robust applications. Stay ahead of the curve and make the most of these new features in your projects.